Texas, 1940s, the boy. They were mean critters. You'd never invite them to dinner. Tough, hard, fast, taller than me. He was telling me of his childhood on his granddad's farm. I could shoot a jack rabbit leaping at full speed by the time I was four. He grinned. In officer training, they classed me as a sharp shooter. He told me how to kill a rattlesnake, to wave a hoe in front of the fire, back and forth. Back and forth, make it dizzy, lay its head on the ground, so you could chop it off with the hoe. Rattlers don't die until the sun goes down. We'd hang them on a fence and they'd writhe until night. The flies were fat, blue, black, and as big as peas. You had to be quick, but I could snatch a handful from the window pane, throw them to the floor, crack. It was self-protection. The flies, jack rabbit, rattlers. The pig pen was our rodeo. Boy, would they squeal, twist, turn, run, and buck. We'd leap and most times fall flat on our faces. We aimed to lie flat around them, or holding their ears. We laughed and laughed. It was such fun. We were happy. Didn't know we were dirt poor. Yes, home was 220 acres in West Texas. Land grants brought my great grandparents from Alabama to this land of scrub, dust storm, and tumbleweed. They made bricks of mud and straw, laid them to dry in the sun, build their home. Just the two of them, just their hands. Then Grandpa and Grandma planted cotton in the sand-coloured, restless soil that would hitch a ride on bull wind, ride Texas style to the sun, buck back in hot, scratching storms that hid the gateposts from view. Somewhere in the panhandle, soil is heavy made red with iron as is blood. Here three windmills pump water to keep the fields alive, the bushes green, the bowls packed tight with light white fibre. That is cotton 